Welcome to the Superhero Hub. I'm Sam. <laughs> I'm Matt. And today we are. Oh God, we're reviewing Powerless. No, we are. I oh, know I'm not doing it. Powerless. Oh, something's as bad as the show itself. That was fresh. Um, now I watched the episode. Shock horror. Clearly, I mean it'd be a bit outlandish to not watch the episode and review it. I'm gonna come out and say it. I want the world to know it. Uh best episode. Right, okay. Okay, let's let's review the show. Right. Um I'm not playing your game. This episode is called Cold Season. Um I mean to review the comedy there was a <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> oh, good one <laughs> douchebag um, so anyway to review the comedy there was a lot of uh, pop culture references as, as well as comic book references we're talking squad um, a lot of things like that I must admit what's funny about that uh, well it wasn't funny I'm just acknowledging the fact that they brought yeah. it up um so yeah, Jet. The premise of the episode is that is cold season, which means all the cold villains are popping off. You know, it's a beef ting, and um, yeah, or which is kind of really superfluous to the plot, except kind of one thing, which is well later on in the episode when Crimson Fox pops up. Ugh. That's literally, and I've got a nitpicking thing there as well. Um, so, as well as that, the really minor subplot that is cold season. Um, there's a competition at Wayne Tech where it's like the best invention that changes, blah 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 blah, wins. So um, Emily, or hot stuff, um, convinces Teddy. Yeah, that's his name. Teddy to uh, see. I know all their names now because they kept kind of drilling it into. They've drilled it in now. I think they're kind of whether the writers are aware that whether they've been watching this video, these videos, and know that we're kind of umming and ahhing what the characters' names are. So Teddy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've been calling Teddy Abed for about what five weeks now. Yeah, Teddy and Ron. So mm-hmm. yeah, so Emily convinces Teddy to uh, submit his gloves, his heating gloves, because obviously it's cold season, so he rolls in wearing them, and it helps take the ice off car doors, and then he starts melting over popcorn, blah, blah, blah. I mean... That was terrible. I don't see why you didn't like the episode. It wasn't good, that's why. It, it's... Things like that may have been a little forced, I'll admit with you there, I'll give you a bit of leeway. There are a couple things that kind of went flat, but I think it's interesting that instead of just making uh, the superhero jokes, which is kind of the formula they've been using from day one, they're kind of mixing in with solid pop culture things. So, as well as kind of him going on with the gloves, uh, Ron's kind of been dragged into uh, Van's kind of thing to start doing stuff for him because Van wants to go on holiday during cold season with his new girlfriend and she's got a kid Um, so he's like yo I need I want to make this Superman car make this and so it gets me in the good graces so he does that and then off that Van's like asking him to do like 20 things (laughs) it was it was funny at first it was but the best joke in the show, I think, was probably when Ron had built the invisible jet toy and then Emily crashed through it. That was all right. That was kind of funny. Nah, I'll tell you what was the best one. Okay, go on. Um, is is l- like right at the end of the episode where he calls calls him into the office, <laughs> and he's standing there and he's like talking about how his dad and dad didn't really spend that much time with him and he's like all I wanted to do was build a tree house and then he's like I'll build a tree house with you and he's like okay then and he picks up the phone and he's just like oh Dylan I found someone to make a tree house for you that was so funny that was awesome I mean I was kind of thinking if they did because while it was unfolding I was thinking is if this is an elaborate plot this is so solid and it turns out it was and it just made me laugh so yeah, yeah no. um, you kind of get a look into 
um, I think they tried to do like a family dynamic because like they kind of had the thing with uh, previously like Teddy tried to submit something to a competition before he lost and then he like melted like tried to design a logo for Wayne Enterprises so he lost that and melted for weeks um, I thought it was funny when he high kicked the little board with the Wayne Enterprises things on in the flashback that made me laugh um, so yeah he loses this time and then she thinks he's done something silly so she goes over to his apartment and you meet the family and they're like getting gassed about how um, how his brother's like a doctor and an aerospace thing and he yeah. like gets a phone call and there's like yo if you want to take that phone call elsewhere instead of like telling me what to do in my yard and it's like oh hello president so obviously as a nice I will say my one saving grace for the episode was in that scene I was freaking out because I thought they were going to do a thing where they said the two of them are in like a fake relationship or something to make yeah. it look better. I thought thank god they didn't go there yeah I thought something like that as well but I liked the little president Luther nod I'm surprised they didn't mention him by name. They just said president, but you got to figure it's President Luther at this time. Um, so, yeah, that was cool. Um, one bit that kind of confused me, like, earlier on in the episode, when, it, when Van bought the car in, and he was talking about making it, and then, like, it switched, and then they showed, like, a picture of, like, all the different clocks... And then it, I think it was kind of like a thing like some time had passed and then it's still in the thing trying to pick people to like do the car. And I was thinking it didn't show the time before. So how do we really know how much time's passed? So I was thinking I don't know why it showed us the clock and that kind of niggled at me and confused me. So, I have yeah. no answer for you. Yeah, so, so that bit. For, that's more of the viewers to kind of scratch their heads over. But I mean, cause <laughs> yeah. for some reason you weren't into it. Um, it wasn't good. <laughs> so yeah they kind of they end up going outside and having a real kind of dopey argument where Emily kind of gets a little short where she's like to him oh I wish I hired your brother instead I was like what would you come out and say that oh, for I just got stupid it was so that that was like a whack thing to say I was thinking she's a bad boss and an even worse friend who would say that yeah, and the thing is, it's like, I don't know why they took that angle anyway, because they've kind of been all cool, you know what I mean? They've been gelling together, and then she comes out and just says something completely outrageous. I was thinking, oh, come on, why'd you do that for? That kind of that kind of made me think, oh, th that was kind of pointless. Why would you say that? So anyway, like, um, the Crimson Fox is in a fight with Frostbite. I thought this was good that they actually threw like a superhero in there and she like crashes and gets frozen and then is using the gloves to kind of defrost her. Superhero and it, is a bit of a stretch. Yeah, and it's kind of a, a big thing like, oh, should I defrost her or open the door, like unfreeze the door and he like ends up doing that to her. She gets unfrozen and then he gives her the gloves and then I'm sitting there thinking, oh, okay then. Um... By the way, uh, who who's on freezing the door? They did. They didn't. Mm, they didn't do that one, did they? Uh, they kind of mentioned that Emily's got like a sister as well who walk, walks dogs, and it's just like oh, I imagine that could be stressful, kind of comparing to the Arbed and his brother. So I thought that his kind name's of, not Arbed. <laughs> that kind of made me laugh. What's his name then? I don't know. I forgot. Teddy Junior. Teddy. Yeah. That was a test, and you failed. So yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That can, there was a couple things that kind of made me laugh. There was a couple clever things in there as well, but for some reason you ain't hot on it. Let's see your spin. I just thought all the jokes fell flat. I didn't really, yeah, look, you know, the. It was half and half. I think they, they for this, they threw in like quite a few jokes as compared to what they've done in previous episodes. Like every other thing was like a joke, and I, I agree with you that some, I'd say but it was 50-50, but there were some, the ones that hit, there were a couple that were like it wasn't, re but it wasn't really enough. solid. It, it was, you know, the, I thought the, the thing with Ron and um, Van climax with the Invisible Jet thing, and then they dragged the joke on again for the rest of the episode. The I was never into the glove angle, I didn't really buy that, you know, the family thing. Not really, we didn't really see enough of that. Yeah, but I think the glove thing was kind of being relevant to, you know, they are actually doing stuff here. Yeah, but it's not anything interesting. You know, it's, I didn't buy... Um, I mean, admittedly, they did, they did kind of talk on that. We had those two guys from a higher division who built a robot. So they were kind of acknowledging that the inventions are a bit crap. 
but you know even the what's the name of the other girl what with the frizzy hair yeah Wendy once again pointless <laughs> she has no storyline she's just there to talk to Ron yeah she says stuff but it's like she's part of the team she's not part of the team she literally just says some crap at Ron that he probably could have figured out on his own and then runs off for some people she is probably their favourite character so let's, she possibly let's be not be too she's not a character let's not be too angry uh, carry on then you know the joke about uh, she's going to have sex in the car alright <laughs> and, and, and then she's like I'll kind of borrow your keys and it's like oh okay then that was good that's not funny he's just so dumb he's too trusting I get it yeah whatever and then, and then he falls for, that would be alright if he learnt Except at the end of the episode, like you say, he makes the same damn mistake again. Yeah, I think that's meant to be like the funny thing. Yeah, well, it's not. Except it was a bit more elaborate and less obvious than maybe some of the other ones. I wish the rest of the show would like that. <laughs> what? Less, a bit more elaborate and less obvious. It wasn't a bad episode. It was. I'm telling you, to some, when I was watching it, I was thinking, you want to know what? This was, a, this was a solid, good episode. The last couple of weeks have been an improvement. And I thought the show was getting better, and maybe it is. This might just be another off week, but this was a down in the dumps again. Okay, uh, let's talk numbers. 4.5. Don't be it. Don't be it. Okay, just that. for you, I'll give it a 5. I'll give it a. S- I'll admit, I mean, I've brought up the shortcomings. It's not like I've been blind and been like, oh, the best episode ever, blah, blah, blah. I brought up the shortcomings. You literally did say it was the best episode. Yeah, but I've also brought up the shortcomings as well. Uh, I'll give it a 7. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, so there we go. So don't, don't be too down on it. Um, I think not too down. On it. I, I think it's good, but it's not good. It was better last week. I think some. Ep- I think it's kind of still working on its formula a bit, which is a problem this far in. But they're throwing a few things. They're hitting. They're missing. Hopefully, they're going to learn. Hopefully, they'll kind of grab an episode and be like, "Okay, this works. We'll keep this formula for the rest of the season, and it'll all be consistently good episodes." But because for now, I think they haven't really found that. So each episode's a kind of like. Uh, a trial thing you know what I mean they, they've tried different things with each of the episode to see what works and what doesn't and they need to, I think they need to work out exactly what the show wants to be yeah that's what some I mean weeks, that's, that's... Some, some weeks they're heavy on the comics thing and then this week basically they mentioned you know Captain Cold and Mr Freeze at the beginning and that was about it and they showed, showed the clocks off them a scare yeah, of Metropolis. Yeah, I mean, that could be anything. That could have said London and Italy or, or Milan or whatever it may be. And the, the inventions could have been for any generic thing. So it didn't have to be a comic book thing this week. And that's fine if you can figure out what you want to be. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm Sam. I'm Matt. And this has been... The Superhero Hub.